Hello, everybody. Okay, we are doing uh, July the 5th, and uh, this is what it says. Again, I'm Darlene Shelton, and we're going to be doing our 365-day daily devotional, um, Jesus Always, by Sarah Young. It says, Walk in the light of my presence. This delightful way to live involves acclaiming me, rejoicing in my name, and exalting in my righteousness. To acclaim me is to praise me in a very strong and enthusiastic way, sometimes with shouts and applause. When you rejoice in my name, you find joy in all that I am. Your Savior and Shepherd, your Lord and God, your Sovereign King, your friend who loves you with unfailing love, you can exalt in my righteousness because I have shared it with you. Though you will continue to sin in this life, my perfect righteousness is already credited to your account. When you walk in my glorious light, my blood continually cleanses you from sin. As you seek to live near me, acknowledging that you're a sinner in need of forgiveness, my holy illumination purifies you. This blessing is for all believers, making it possible for my followers to have rich fellowship with one another. So walk in the light with me, my friend. Spend time enjoying my bright, loving presence. Scriptures for July the 5th. Blessed are those who have learned to acclaim you, who walk in the light of your presence, O Lord. They rejoice in your name all day long. They exalt in your righteousness. Psalms chapter 89, verses 15 through 16. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your unfailing love. Psalm chapter 31, verse 16. The righteousness from God comes through faith. In Jesus Christ to all who believe. Romans chapter 3 verse 22. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ as his son cleanses us from all sin. 1 John chapter 1 verse 7. So that is our devotional for um, July the 5th. And just remember for all those who are continuously being strong and walking in the faith and uh, you're acknowledging God, you're being obedient and, you know, just stand on that path. Continue to stay on that path and stay prayed up. Stay in prayer without ceasing. Asking God to continue to keep you on that right path and to guide and lead you. For those who have fallen away, I'm asking that you uh, pray and, and ask God to... Uh, to forgive you so that you are restored and added back to the body of Christ. For those who don't know the Lord and is out there seeking or you just lost your way and you just don't think God exists or God doesn't love you anymore. God's plan of salvation where you first you have to be taught and shown God's word in the Bible. And that is um, in Romans chapter 10 verse 14. Then after that, you 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 hear what you you was taught. You hear it, and that is Mark twelve twenty nine. Then you believe what you hear, Hebrews eleven and six. And then once you believe what you hear, you repent, and that is Luke chapter thirteen verse three. Then when you repent, you confess. It's Romans chapter ten verses nine through ten. Then when you confess. After that, you are baptized into the body of Christ through being immersed in the water. And um, that is Acts 2.38 and Acts 22, verse 16. And then once you have been added to the body of Christ, not joined, but added. So once you add it, can't nobody put you out of the body of Christ but yourself. When you separate yourself through sin... And not repenting and getting it done back right, like turning 180 degrees. So, can't no man put you out of the Lord's church. So, and then you are to live faithful unto death. 
And um, once again, as I like to say, that does not mean that we're perfect because nobody's perfect but the man above. But we can perfect ourselves to be Christ-like by um, not allowing things to, to stumble us. Uh, by getting those things that hinder us from God away. Um, you know, so like, continue to pray and ask God to keep and give you the strength that he has so that you may not fall away from him. And that, and if you do, just acknowledge your errors and turn away from those things and that you struggle with. So, again, thank you for tuning in. I hope that this helps someone. And um, I pray that God will continue to allow me to share um, the gospel with with you. And that whatever I'm sharing, whoever it is talking to uh, at this moment, the scripture is touching and convicting you, your spirit, then I'm glad that it's doing something for someone because that's what it's meant to do. God tells us to to share the gospel. You're not supposed to keep it to yourself. And I want to share it to help someone else find their way and get to know the Lord and what he does for you. So until our next reading, I will talk to you later. Remember, God loves you unconditionally no matter what you do. And remember that I love you as well. So God bless you. Have a good night. Bye.